guys, it's Craignesia, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode one of season two of Princess Connect Redive. Okay, so literally, I just talked for two fucking minutes, and then we started the episode. Then I thought there was no subtitles in this, and then I stopped, and right as Kokoro said, you know, hey, and, ish, and then freaking Yuki was like, hey, morning, there's a subtitle with the word morning. But as I was trying to say before I cut that video and shit... Um, so it's been like, what, two years since, you know, I did a video on this because, you know, hey, <laughs> copyright on this show and everything. And so this was one of those shows, just like with Attack on Titan, where I was not really going to do a reaction on this. I probably was going to wait until season two of this show was done and then just binge from episode seven from season one all the way to the new season to see what the hell happened. But of course, I was asked, and I said, you know what, what the hell? So, between last night and it's now four, so like about two hours ago, um, I finished season one, enjoyed it, loved the fact that we finally, you know, as someone who played the game and such, um, Kokoro finally learned about, you know, Pagarine's secret and her story about being a lost princess and stuff. But now at the same time, because we, that... As the audience, and Car uh, Kokoro as the audience as well, we now know that. It's like, okay, Carol and, and her secret and such. Because every single episode, especially the ones that I watched from 17 to 13, we kept going back and forth between... Ter I cannot speak. Oh my god. Carol going back and forth between good and bad. And then her finally being like, you know what? I really care for these people. And the fact that, you know, Pecorine came and saved me. She didn't have to do that and such but she did because she really truly cares for everyone because of the fact is she doesn't Pecorine doesn't want anyone to forget her because she already it hurt as hell when her whole entire family even though it's just two people but everybody else in the damn kingdom where she lives literally forgot her and such um so that's like the biggest thing that I'm hoping for season two that they find out that you know Carol is a bad guy but she's suddenly good and she's like no, no, no I'm gonna help you guys defeat you know Shota Aoi, you know, what? because I can't remember the character that Shota Aoi plays in this, um, and such, but yeah, 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 I'm really excited for this, but other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one, and three, two, hold on, and three, two, one, go. Okay. Now, I don't need to pause, because there's freaking subtitles, we checked, we're good. But another thing that I kind of ended up saying was, um, when I used to play this game, um, I'm kind of hoping that the Princess Fest cards make an appearance in this, especially for Carol, Puckerine, and Kokoro. Because in the Japanese version, I know it's not, not like that for the English version yet, um, they're in there. And Kokoro is just gorgeous. I had the card, and then, you know, I deleted the game off my phone. Of course. Mm, that looks so good. I might eat after this because I am kind of hungry again. I mean, when I watched the last two episodes, I was eating like three small bags of pistachios. <laughs> I literally don't remember who voices Yuki. I mean, because I always get, like, 
very different on the voices for Carol because I think she's voiced by Ronco from Idolmaster or Katarina Kleiss. But it's someone who works with her in the Idol Match series that she's voiced by. A legendary seasoning. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if it's salt. <laughs> to try everything. Okay, now, if we don't see my best freaking girls today. Oh, we're getting the opening now? Um, I don't remember their names. It's, what? okay, so one of them has pink hair. There's so many characters in the show that probably has pink hair. Same thing in the game. Um, oh my god, look at the gags. Uh, pink hair, she wears, like, I know I had her one of her um her summer outfits and I loved it so freaking much. I know what she looks like in real life. She has blonde hair and she Oh my god. <laughs> she wears like um knee length boots and such. I just don't remember her name. Oh my god. Oh, nice job, Yuki. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! What I do remember from the girl with the pink hair, she literally, one of her teammates is voiced by Nina from, ah, the babies! <laughs> one of the girl's weapons, it's like a, it's a cross looking type of staff thing. It has a big eye in the middle. And, like, three, like, spears and such. Whoever she is, that's one of my other favorite girl groups. I think, oh my god, that's gorgeous. I think also what I kind of want to see, because we all know just it's Cosmo who's in the show as well. I, I really just want to see the whole rest of the damn cast. <laughs> that and that maybe um, little teeny tiny bits of um, combatants cast in the show as well. <laughs> So, I mean, but you couldn't eat that crab. I think Peccary would have made it for you. 
Only Sam. You want crab? Seriously? <laughs> What's up, Yuki? <laughs> Yes, using yourself as a distraction. Mm -hmm. Hmm? So what is it exactly? So we're not even going to show what the thing y'all killed and now we're eating. Okay. Is that what y'all ate? God damn, everybody. Party down. <sighs> I 
<laughs> or a bunch of misfits. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. like a tree. Oh. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Well, unfortunately, that is his old comrades right there. This was a trap. I just see. This is why we can't trust people. Him too. Mm -hmm. Aww.
for a moment I thought I was just gonna like go up and then bam but like mm, damn damn But damn, we going everywhere today. <laughs> Yuki! God dang it, this anime might get me playing in the damn game again. God, this always happens! Oh. Yeah, I'm just... There. Oh! Hmm. <laughs> I didn't really expect the turtle to be male, but like, oh hey. <laughs> Oh, that looks so good. Is it good? It almost looks like, oh my god, what's that? It's Grayton, I think it's called. Where it's like cheese and like mashed potatoes and such and vegetables. Oh my god, I'm hungry. It's good, ain't it? <laughs> I'm over here fucking salivating at that food. Oh my god. You know anime food look good as fuck. Well, you are only her, like, drooling. Drooling. <laughs> you were just like, mm-hmm, like, oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> Honestly, for our first episode for season two, it was really good. I was expecting, like, you know, um, 
the little like preview thing very similar to like season one but it's okay i'm we're, we might get that again because i always loved that that was like the best thing about the show always seeing like kokoro and friends just doing something else and she's always doing this team you because you know in the game and such but like i really think this is gonna get me back into this damn series and wanting to play the game again and I play, t I play too many games, I do. I really, really do. This is why I want an iPad, so that I can have a whole bunch of storage on the iPad. Thank God I have another job. I'm like, oh, and I can save for it. But I mean, yeah, honestly, as someone who, you know, unfortunately could not continue this show two years ago because of copyright and I was like I think it's best for me to just lay low you know maybe wait until the show is done and then at the time I was too busy to kind of continue the show and so I think I kind of just like placed it on like the back of my mind and I said you know what one day I'm gonna watch the rest of season one and then we'll conclude whatever the hell season two was so let's go back to like Christmas time when this was coming and I was like oh shit I was like am I gonna watch this and I was like, mm, I don't know, I really don't know. And then it came to yesterday, or was it yesterday? Well, yeah, it was. When I wrote the post, it was Sunday night, but when I got the comment, it was yesterday. And I was like, you know what, what the hell? I was like, I, I, I have time until my new job next week, but then after that, like, I know I'm going to be uber busy, except, like, on Sundays, because I know on my clean on Sundays, I have days off on that day. Um... But yeah, I mean, seeing my babies after just really recently just finishing season one and such, but seeing these four again after such a long time not watching this show, it, it felt really good. I really missed these group of characters, plus everyone else, seeing characters that, you know, I had already seen in the game and I loved in the game and then I got to see again in the anime and still hoping for... um in a way, Yuki's group, his previous group, to somewhat, in a way, pop up or possibly rise from the dead again and such because there's still a lot of unanswered questions on that with his memories. And so that's kind of another thing that I'm hoping season two goes more in depth in is his memories because, I mean, yes, yeah, season one did a really good job on it, but there's still a lot of unanswered questions. And then with our big bad, if this is still continuing, quote-unquote, arc one of the game... I'm guessing by the end of season two, she'll be gone, and then by we'll move. Uh, la, 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 I can't speak. We'll be moving on to arc two, which I have no idea what the hell could happen in that. But I, I thought this, you know, for a side quest episode type, maybe filler in a way, was really sweet. Very wholesome and adorable. Hell, you made me hungry once again. So after this, I'm definitely gonna go eat. And such but yes I've missed my little band of misfits and you know wanting to eat all the damn time because peckering motherfucking peckering <laughs> always fucking hungry <laughs> reminds me of myself but that's okay <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of season two of Princess Connect Redive. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys, unfortunately, when I come home from work on Monday um, for episode two. Because I should be home at least by... I get off at six... So I should be home at least 6.15, 6.30. And plus to the fact is now that I have this, because this comes out on Mondays, this and Tribe 9, I can get them possibly both out by the end of the day or before I go to bed. I, even though I don't go to bed till the wee hours of the morning. But yeah, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.